So you guys asked us to do a video on Scale Electric. So for the past few months, I've been collecting as many slot cars and Scale Electric sets as I can find on Facebook Marketplace. I've got one from a car boot sale, and also I had one. So let's have a look. We've got a full box now of about 30 or 40 slot cars. And what is the point in having all of these cars without a, an epic racetrack? So we've also got not one, not two, not three, not even four scale electric tracks, but five scale electric tracks. And this should be enough track to do something pretty special, we hope. Now, we have got the old style track and the new style track, so we've also picked up a couple of adapters so we can link the two, the two types of track together. We've also got a big bag that we got as well from a car boot of mixed track. And we've got a few other accessories. So the plan today is to create an epic scale electric track using all of this stuff. But one of the problems I found as a kid with scale electrics is it's always on the floor, it's on your carpet, kind of your braking joints, cars are stopping and starting, also you're having to be on the floor is not great. So we're gonna try and build something uh, around about a table height and ideally portable. Why portable, I hear you ask? Well, as luck would have it, last week, one of our neighbors on the business park gave us these. Now they are outfeed tables from a large format printer. They're modular and we've got five of them, they all clip together. So we're thinking we're gonna put all of these together, level it all out, clamp them together, and it will make a really great portable scale electrics table. Uh, from there, we can kind of use our phone to create a track with um, some more details on it. And we can also have a place for about, we, I've said we've got about 30 or 40 cars. And you know, we don't want them just bouncing around the table. We're gonna try and organize them all in foam, put some logos in it, and then we'll have the epic Shadow Foam Grand Prix. All we need to do now is just remove this bottom bracket here so that's not going to jab you know put into somebody and then we can get some foam out on it Right, so I'm pretty happy with that. It's clamped together really, really well. Um, and it, it's really solid. We've leveled it out. We ended up having to adjust pretty much all of the feet. Now it's not perfect this, but it doesn't really need to be because we're gonna be putting a sheet of foam on the top of it. So that'll take, into a, that'll take up a little bit of the, um, well, some of these ridges and gaps. Basically these tables are designed to kind of like tier one onto the other down a slope or up a, up a slope. So, uh, they're not really designed to be a flat level surface. So we've got pretty close to a flat level surface. Um, they're all clamped together nicely. It was quite dusty. There was a few sticky parts on it. So we've also given it a nice clean down. And now it's ready to add some foam. And then hopefully we can come up with a, a scale electric track layout. better off 
they're like, you know, like a, a meatball stick, and when you stab it through, and a bit of glue. Oh, we get sheets of Corex board and glue it to that. That's the other idea. Yeah. That's not a bad idea, actually. I think that's what we should do. That is the table now fully prepped. We originally planned putting the foam directly on the table, but quite quickly realized we wouldn't be able to glue to it. We couldn't really Velcro tape to it because you know, we want to be able to take the table apart and put it away. So we've gone for, um, we've cut this, this is Corex board, five mil Corex board. We had some of these sheets of this lying around. So we've cut them to size, we've made it in three sections and we're going to make the scale electrics track in three sections, which we can then take apart and then put on the table. So. We've cut that to size, we've cleaned it all down, and now we're gonna move on to the foam layout. But what we're gonna be doing is using 30 mil sheets as the base, and obviously that's like grass, essentially. And then we've got some of our 75 mil sheets to use as a buffer, and we're gonna put a border all the way around. And this should make it quite nice to lean on. It'll frame it really nicely. And also, it stands 35 mil, 40 mil above the base, so obviously if a car fly, um, goes flying off the track, it should stop a few, or the majority of crashes from bouncing off the table. So uh, now we need to cut these into sections and we're gonna glue them to the correct sheets. And then finally, we'll be ready for the track layout. The buffer is definitely gonna do some work for us stopping the cars bouncing off. I think that was a great idea. We've also added, um, this is black with red underneath and this is black with blue underneath. And that's gonna allow us to cut in uh, possibly a shadow film logo somewhere over here. And then we'll do a scale electrics logo on this side and it'll give us that little bit of uh, diversity. And obviously we can have a, the logos will really pop, stand out. And now we've got the green for the grass. So next job is to bring all the track over and see if we can come up with some sort of layout. Right, so that was the best part of two hours, I think. And it's not quite finished, but we've, we've got a circuit. We've yet, we've done a, obviously over here, we've got some of the track on top of it, each other, because we're gonna kind of lift this up and do a second like story almost. Uh, but we've just completed the track. So we're gonna check now if we've actually got a complete circuit. Uh, I'll be amazed if we do. I very much doubt we have. 
Uh, if you've ever put together a scale electrics track, let me know in the comments, because that last time I put one set of like 10 pieces together, I never had a complete circuit. So we're gonna find out now if we have. So we'll use a car that looks like it's uh, got really good brushes on it, which is that one. Nathan, do you think it's gonna work? No. Positive. No, I think we've actually built the whole thing and it's supposed to go that way. Well, that works. I don't know what kind of mad science has gone on here, but we've got it working straight away. <laughs> That's flipping. I cannot believe that. Flipping hell. The only thing is we've built the whole trap the wrong way around. That's mental. That's going to make the video so much quicker because we don't have to flip in fault find for an hour. That's madness. I cannot believe that. So the next thing we've got to do, we're gonna, we got all of the um, like floor track or the base track, we're gonna cut it into the foam. Uh, I think that way it serves two purposes. It's gonna keep it all connected. It's gonna help keep it all flat and flush because we've got a few little areas where it bumps up, but it's also gonna help us um, when we dismantle it all, it'll help us put it all back because obviously the shadow effect will show us the, the circuit that we've, that we've got. Um, so we're going to do that. We've managed to cut all of the base track into the foam. And for anyone who's not familiar with what we do, uh, we are Shadow Foam. And the product that we sell is this material here, which is called Shadow Foam. And essentially it's a, uh, a cut and peel grade of foam. You place an item where you want it to go and then you peel back the foam to create a slot for it. So it's typically used for hand tools. We'll show you some shots now of what it's typically used for, a power tool wall, uh, drawer, tool, organizing hand tools in toolboxes. And obviously in this scenario, we're using it, we've, we've laid out the track how we wanted it, we've drawn around it, and then just like we've got here, once we're happy with where the track's going, we can just pull back on the corner and peel back the layers of foam to create that silhouette. And the reason why we're doing it is because obviously it's, we've got lots of it here. We've uh, got an abundance of shadow foam that we can use. And obviously it's green, so it looks like grass. We thought it'd make a nice uh, circuit design. But also it means when we pack this all away, we're gonna have um, a clear silhouette of how the track worked. I mean, it took us a few hours to get this layout going. So it's nice to be able to remember how it went. So that's the last piece of the low level track. And from here, it goes up on little stands and then we've got the second layer or the second tier. So now we've got to cut all of the little supports in and then we can give it a test and then we're ready for the Grand Prix. So let's get the second tier sorted.
So we finished the scale electric track and I'm pretty buzzing with it to be honest. I think uh, the odds of buying four secondhand scale electric tracks and being able to build a set that works first time was pretty slim. There was a slim, slim odds on that working. We added all of the cars, we've, we've put all the cars across the track and we thought we were originally going to put them in a nice neat row so they were organised but we thought they actually had a really nice bit of visual detail. So we've put the uh, police cars on the corners, we've, uh, we've added a few cars in a few different spots to uh, kind of really uh, <laughs> make the track look, I think it looks a lot better with all of the, uh, all the cars sunk in. We've also uh, drilled a hole under here so we can drop the power cables down and we've also used the foam quite creatively here, a little bit of a hat to hide the cable and also this little flap here to hide those cables. So we've got what, and we've also, oh yeah, we also did the logos, we did the Shadow Foam logo here, Scale Electric's logo, we've put a few extra stickers on as well. So I think what we've ended up with is a pretty amazing build and this took us a full day, an eight hour day but that wraps it up. So we're just closing up now. It's, it's uh, the end of the day here at Shadow Foam. So we're going to start again tomorrow and start the Shadow Foam Grand Prix in the morning. And that's going to be part two, which is coming next Friday. So if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the Shadow Foam Grand Prix next Friday.